Shalom, Holy Nation. Welcome back, Righteous Reactions, man. I seen this video the other day on TikTok, and I wanted to talk about it, bro, because it's like a heavy point that was made up in this video. Yeah, I wanted to check it out with you guys. I wanted to see what y'all think about it uh, in the comments, and I wanted to talk a little bit about it. So let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Do you fuck with a real woman? Let me and, answer that question. And the reason why I asked okay, I'm is because if you fuck with a real woman, She's going to agree with you. Hey, maybe I shouldn't step outside wearing this, I respect that, this baby. nasty ass that. shit. Let me or... answer that. This is the problem. The real woman is standing too close to the hose, so we don't know the difference until we start talking to y'all. No, no, listen, listen. I, 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 met, I met a lot of women. It don't mean, I don't care if they from the hood. Mm -hmm. I don't care if they from, they got two parents. They interests are the same. Mm. It's like right now, right? If you see 10 lions coming down the street, are you gonna try to figure out which lion gonna bite your ass or not? You gonna be like them 10 lions. So unfortunately, the real woman agree with too much shit that these hoes is on, so we don't know the fucking difference. Y'all gotta stand too, y'all gotta stand far away from the hoes because y'all dress like them. Y'all wear the same shit they wear. Right. Y'all listen to the same, same music they listen to. Y'all stand for the same shit they stand for. In most cases, not you, baby, but in most cases, the, the real women got too much in common with the hoes. I wanted to talk about that video because I thought it was very interesting because her question was, do you mess with real women, right? And he was saying, how can I, right? The real women is out here dressing like whores. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't even get mad at it. That's that's the facts. Uh, the scriptures talk about, I think it's the Proverbs 7, talk about me and a woman with the attire of a harlot, right? Meaning that a hoe has a certain dress. They dress a certain way. But now all of the lines are blurred and everything like that. And good women out here dressing the same way as the women that's out here acting like hoes or being hoes. So he was saying, they dress the same, they act the same, they still doing everything that the hoes is doing. They listen to the same music, right? They listen to all of the same artists, right? But still, quote unquote, claim themselves to be good women. I mean, they do everything that the hoes do. So he's saying the women that's good women are standing too close to the hoes to where you can't discern if she's a good woman or not. So this is what I have to ask. Because the scriptures also say that you know a man by, you know what I'm saying, the way he dressed, right? So as a man, if you walking around in the streets and you see a woman dressed a certain way, respecting herself, covered up, not showing off everything to the people, most of the time, men are going to act accordingly to that woman. Why? Because he knows that this is a woman that has a value to her. But if you out here dressed like a hoe, acting like a hoe, listening to all the hoe music, he's just going to lump you in there with the rest of the hoes. This is another thing. Women will have a bunch of hoe friends and say, oh, well, my friends act like this and my friends act like that. Now, the scripture says, a man uh, tend to his like. He he hangs around the people that he is more familiar with. So guarantee you that that woman, the good woman that's out here running around with the hoes, either she's acting like a hoe in secret or she secretly wants to be like the hoes. It's just really what it is, man. We can't really argue this point because it's just the it's just the truth. And all of us know a woman that was the good girl amongst hoes that became one of the hoes. We all know it. You know what I'm saying? And this is the same with men as well. You always find that good man that hang around drug dealers, that hang around men that's out here sleeping with women, killing people, right? And that good man gets destroyed, gets put in the same circumstances, and then creates uh, habits uh, that causes him to fall into that same situation as the men that he around. So if you are a good woman, what are you going to do? You're going to surround yourself around other women that have the same mindset as you. Otherwise, you're going to get defiled. And I respect the brother because he also pointed this out. He says, if you see a pack of lions, if you see a pack of lions coming down the street, you're not going to stop and say, I wonder which lion won't eat me. you just going to all assume that they will all eat you. That's just what it is, bro. Ain't nobody in their right mind saying, oh, I'm going to pick one of the good lions out of the, out of the pack of lions. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to pick one of the good lions that's going to allow me to ride on its back. No. At some point, women need to take accountability for the way that they act, the way that they dress, what they listen to, who they speaking to, who who they friends with. At some point in time, y'all going to have to take accountability uh, to that. And for the women, 
that have a certain mindset and want to keep that mindset, you can't surround yourself around people that have an opposite mindset of you. Otherwise, you will become who you are friends with. I always say this. Your friends show who you are, bro, or show who you want to be. If you are around this group of people, nine times out of 10, either you want to be like them because you, what business does the lamb have with the wolf? Like, let's put it in this scenario. What business do a good woman have with hoes? What business? What business do y'all truly have? None. Y'all have no business being there. So you are the lamb. Separate yourself, surround yourself around other lamb or good women. Otherwise, you're going to get devoured by the wolf and then eventually you're going to become the wolf seeking to destroy the lamb as well, bro. That's just what it is, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comments, though. Keep going. Keep praying. Uh, study hard. Free yourself. Yeah. You've been praying for me. I can tell. Yeah. I felt a boost of virtue out of nowhere. Keep going. Keep praying. Study hard. Free yourself. Yeah, you've been praying for me. I can tell. Yeah, I can tell. Look, the greatest story ever told. That's right.